Hello, this is Anthony Manning. and Welcome to my journey to KMMS. My traveller this time is Michael Lamb from Canada, one of the first students at the Kenton Medway Medical School, KMMS, formed by Canterbury Christchurch University and the University of Kent in collaboration. Michael is also an accomplished pianist and music scholar. Hi, Michael. Thanks for joining us today and for taking us on your journey to the Kent and Medway Medical School. Hi, Dr. Manning. Thank you so much for having me. Brilliant. So if you don't mind, I'll start with a simple question um, to ask you to tell us a bit more about where you call home. Sure. So um, I grew up in Markham, Ontario, Canada, which is just north of Toronto. Um, so it's a very diverse, multicultural place with a population of just over 300,000. And, um, you know, people are probably wondering, you know, um, is the weather as crazy as people think it is? Well, yeah, it is true that in the winter it gets really cold and we often get lots and lots of snow. Um, but it's also true that the summers are as hot as the winters are cold. So we pretty much have everything uh, when it comes to the weather. So do you think that the city you come from has similarities with Canterbury or is it quite different? I guess Canterbury is um, quite similar, uh, but it's also closer to the countryside. So there's that extra um, aspect of beauty to it. But um, yeah, I think in terms of the culture and the fact that Canterbury, there's lots of, you know, stores and shops and restaurants, you know, in the center of the city. Um, that's something that I do enjoy. I think the UK uh, in general is a very, very elegant and sophisticated place. And that's one of the reasons why I chose to study here, in fact. Right. I wanted to ask you next about your studies and what has inspired you to join us. Yeah, so I'm very honored to be part of the very first cohort of uh, students here at Kenton Medway Medical School. It's the very first year that um, we have this medical school. So um, ever since I was young, I've always been interested in science. And throughout secondary school, um, I really enjoyed my um, biology and chemistry courses. Healthcare um, is, you know, there's science involved, right? But it's, a, it's actually also an art in a way, right? Because um, interacting with patients and their families and putting their needs first and foremost is something that requires a great deal of interpersonal skills, right? So I think it's these two interests of mine uh, combined that really drew me towards um, a career in medicine. Like I thought to myself, this is, it's, it's an ideal career for me. So um, I applied to an undergrad program um, at Western University in London, Ontario. Uh, yeah, so I, I did a Bachelor of Medical Science there, uh, specializing in biochemistry. Um, and then um, last year, I started considering overseas options for medical school. And um, like I said, I was very, very honored and delighted to receive my interview offer and then to get a spot here at Kenton Medway Medical School. Brilliant. Um, can you tell us what you've been studying so far? I know it's early days on your course, but what are the things you've been enjoying about your studies so far? Yeah, so um, I think something that I really enjoy about the course is the fact that it's integrated, which means that we're not only studying, uh, you know, anatomy, physiology, you know, all the sciences, but um, in fact, quite a significant portion of the course is focused on, um, you know, communication and interpersonal skills. So I've been really enjoying, you know, both aspects. And it, it, it's good to have a balance between the two, right? Especially for myself, um, since um, I'm a grad student, I have been spending um, lots of time studying science in the past. So it is good to have that kind of balance. Uh, but I guess my, um, my favorite experience so far in the course is that um, we're actually really fortunate um, in this curriculum. Um, to have real clinical exposure right from our first year. So our very first clinical placement took place in October. And that was a really eye-opening experience for me because, um, you know, I got to actually go to a GP clinic and observe and also to interact with the patients uh, myself, right? So that was something that um, really just, I guess, um, further confirmed my interest um, in pursuing this path. That's amazing. Great to see that you're having such a, a positive experience. But earlier on, you mentioned your, your interest in 
becoming um, a doctor associated with the science and the art in that practice. I wondered if you could tell us more about how arts or the arts influences your life. Right, so, um, so classical music is something that I can't survive without. So I started playing the piano at the age of eight. Um, but yeah, so this is just one example, I guess, of the fact that um, in, in any profession, like whether you're a student or whether you're um, you know, working, it's really important to have a balanced lifestyle. And I think that's particularly true in the case of uh, like for medical students, because, you know, we have such a busy schedule and it's really important to have a balanced lifestyle and to be well-rounded. Um, the UK is such a sophisticated and, you know, elegant place and it's got such a rich history. That's part of the culture of the UK that, you know, was something that really attracted me to come and study here. Brilliant. And, and what outlets have you found for your music since you've arrived in Canterbury? Right. Yeah. So um, I applied for the KMMS Music Scholarship and I was very honored to um, get accepted for it. So um, basically, I'm going to have chances um, throughout uh, the year to, um, you know, to perform. You know, the, the music building is really nice. Uh, the pianos there and the practice rooms are all, you know, they're pretty much, they're state-of-the-art facilities. And, you know, I've been really fortunate to have a chance and go play there. And, you know, I've been doing some recordings as well. And, you know, I'm, I'm really excited uh, and delighted to share my love of music with my fellow classmates and with the staff um, here at the university. Amazing. Thank you. That's really exciting. And we hope to see more of your musical performances. I think we can already see some of those online that um, colleagues are doing. short videos that are already up there on the University Music YouTube page. Brilliant, thank you. Um, so we're talking about your journey through your studies towards your career as if it is a form of travel. Uh, so with that in mind, I wanted to ask you either practically really or metaphorically, if you're packing your bag, what three things would you pack? First of all, um, I always carry with me, almost always, um, a deck of cards because I feel that um, wherever I go um, and, you know, whenever I meet new people, I enjoy bonding with them using magic tricks. So that's something that I almost always have with me. Oh, um, and a magic trick for me now. I'd be happy to in the future. Um, <laughs> other thing would be um, headphones. So you're probably thinking, you know, what's so special about headphones? Everyone carries headphones everywhere. Well, um, like I said, right, um, to say that I love classical music would be an understatement, right? I can't survive without it. So uh, that's something that I always carry with me because, you know, I, music is something that really gets me going and, you know, it, it gives me peace and joy and it fulfills me. Um, I could go on and on about that. Um, I guess the third item, um, something metaphorical would be um, perseverance, I would say, right? Because, um, you know, it's for any person, right? No matter what endeavor you're embarking on, um, it's really important to always persevere um, and to face your challenges, right? Because, um, you know, everyone is going to face struggles, but it's having determination and having motivation um, and learning from your mistakes that I think is really the key to success. Those are brilliant ideas, thank you. And I guess the, um, the magic tricks also help with dexterity, which might come in useful with your That's career true. in the future, it's true. Brilliant. So you've made it all sound quite easy in terms of your journey through your studies and the line of sight towards your future career, but have you ever experienced any obstacles along the way? Oh, absolutely. It hasn't been, um, you know, just easy. I've experienced many adversities along the way. Um, so for example, when I was completing my first undergraduate degree um, in science, um, I can think of, you know, quite a few instances where um, I wouldn't do as well on an exam as I'd hoped, for example. Um, and then combining academics with, you know, all the other commitments I was doing, such as, you know, work, volunteering, um, other extracurriculars. Very often, 
um, I felt really stressed and overwhelmed that, you know, there were all these, you know, commitments that um, I had to take care of. So, yeah, I've experienced many, many challenges. And I think that everybody makes mistakes, right? Uh, the, the key, though, is to learn from your mistakes um, and to always try and diagnose yourself to see what exactly the problem was, you know, so let's say I didn't do as well on a test as I hope, right? Okay, so what, what might the reason be for that, right? So, you know, I, whenever that happened to me, I would simply try to diagnose what happened, what went wrong, and then try to implement a new strategy. So I would, so for example, um, I would try studying with others, right? I would try, you know, um, studying at night or like doing different things, right? So this is just one example, but um, yeah, it hasn't been an easy road, but um, I think it's keeping myself motivated that has gotten me to this point and has, you know, gotten me uh, to the point of being fortunate to be accepted here. Yeah, and those are great practical solutions that you can transfer to other situations to help you. That's great. So linked to the experiences that you've had um, so far in your life, what would you say is the biggest life lesson that you've learned? So um, Wayne Gretzky, arguably the greatest hockey player ever, said that you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take, right? Um, I guess another way of phrasing that would be that the master has failed more times that the beginner has even tried, right? So that's life in a nutshell. Right, it's not going to be all smooth. Um, there are going to be challenges, right? So another analogy that I like to think of is that whenever you're uh, putting clothes in a washing machine, right, what happens to the clothes? They get shaken up, right? So they get really, really uh, mercilessly thrown around and everything. But then afterwards, when you take them out, right, what happens to them? They're brighter, they're cleaner, and they're stronger, right? So that's what happens when a person goes through adversity overcoming challenges and, you know, being able to learn from them and, you know, diagnose what went wrong and teach yourself how to improve in the future. I think that's the key, right? Because everybody is going to make mistakes, right? The key is to learn from your mistakes um, and to try to not make uh, the same mistake twice, right? I think that's really um, what I would say is to just have determination, never give up and just keep persevering. Brilliant. That is an amazing lesson and also great advice for students following in, in your footsteps. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing that with us. So I wanted to know, as we've been thinking about your experiences as a journey, if you could turn your mind to the future. It's early days for you because you, you just arrived here in, in Canterbury, so we don't want you to fast forward too quickly. But what do you think your plans might be? after you graduate, what would your next destination be? So, yeah, so after graduating, I'm gonna have to complete residency and then um, more years of residency, depending which path um, I wanna embark on. And then after that, uh, you know, I could decide to either return to North America to practice as a doctor or um, stay here. And what I've noticed is that I, I really like Kent, you know, it's such a beautiful place. And so my, my placement is in Seven Oaks, right? So when I went to Seven Oaks um, in October, um, I just, I, I saw the people there and, you know, I noticed how everyone was really nice and friendly. And, you know, um, so that's definitely an option for me um, is staying here to serve the area. I would absolutely be honored um, to do that if it's possible. So, you know, there's many different options. Uh, I'm really just, keeping all the options open and, you know, hoping for the best. Brilliant. Well, that, those are great ambitions. And as you say, you've got a, a range of opportunities to think about um, along the way. So thank you for sharing your journey with us today. It's been really inspiring and enjoyable. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me.